Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is going to be episode 12 and 13 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Love Node, okay? Let's see what messages come out for you, Taurus, all right? Let's see. If you have questions about getting a personal reading, description box is all there. What you see is what you get. All right, so go ahead and check that out if you have any questions. It's very comprehensive though. Let's see, uh, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What are the messages for Taurus, please? Okay, let's see. We have the Three of Swords, okay? We have the Ten of Swords, interesting, and then we have the Ace of Swords, yeah. So what I'm getting, <clears throat> excuse me. What I'm getting off first glance is something is something is a struggle for you. It's stressful. You're, you're worn out. You're carrying too much weight. You have your overwhelm. It's too much baggage. It's just too much. I'm getting you are going to flat out ignore somebody. You're going to break somebody's heart. I'm getting it's an air sign. You're going to start. I'm getting you're just starting something new or you're going to just flat out ignore this person. I'm getting. Yeah. So it's basically, yeah, you're going to ignore this person. Um, I'm getting you're going to. Just flat out tell them that you don't want to talk to them. Or I'm also getting too, somebody has been ignoring you for, for quite some time. And there's going to be communication after not talking for a long time. You're going to, you want to start over. We're going from 10 to 1. So something is going to be rebooted, recharged, and restarted here with an air sign I'm getting. Okay, so I'm getting you are communicating with this person. I'm getting maybe you missed this person. All right, but I'm getting with the Three of Swords, you're, you're still, you still have a broken heart. So you, I don't know if you're ready to talk to them or communicate with them. I'm getting you're, you're still heartbroken here. What's the three of swords? Are you you feel like they are still heartbroken or, or something because they've been ignoring you? So you feel like maybe they're not ready to talk to you yet or they still have a broken heart or something like that. What's the three of swords? Okay, we have the high priestess. Yeah, this is what you're thinking. You're thinking that they're still heartbroken. They're still hurt. They're still resentful because they have not, but they have been ignoring you. Okay, so what's the Ten of Swords? We have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so it could be somebody new in their life or somebody new in your life. This is this is communication coming in after after not speaking for a long time. We have the Six of Pentacles. So I'm getting you're making an effort to talk to this person, to have a conversation, to speak to them. Okay, somebody somebody wants forgiveness here. I'm getting, I'm getting somebody is very intuitive so that they can see right through you. All right, so let's see. I'm getting, I'm getting you're very in tune with this person. I'm getting you are going to try and communicate. You are going to try to reach out. If you don't communicate, I'm getting you're going to post something online, a new post, or maybe like a new gesture, a poem, something. I'm getting you're going to try and make the effort here with this person. I'm getting it's going to be minimum effort though. So I'm getting it might be a post online or a song or an email. I'm getting you are you are going to try to do something to make it work or to make it right. What's the high priestess? Because you're under the assumption that this person is still hurt or you broke somebody's heart. What's the high priestess, please? We have the two of cups yet. Yeah, you want to make it right. I'm getting you want to make up. Okay, the two of cups means, means that you still have love for this person. You may not be in love with them, but I'm getting you still love them. You, you want to see eye to eye. You want to call the truth. You want to make up. Okay, you want to be friends again. You want to be an equal again. Okay, so I'm getting you still love this person. Okay, what's the ace of wands? You want to start over. You want a new beginning. You want to be honest. You want to have an honest to heart to heart conversation with this person. You want to share with them. Okay, I'm getting you. There's going to be a conversation here with, between you and this person. All right, I'm getting you knew it was coming. Okay, so if somebody's communicating with you, you knew it was going to come with the high priestess. You know what you have to do. You know you have to do the right thing here. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting you're being divinely guided to make up with this person or do the right thing. Okay, I'm getting you, you probably betray them or hurt them or they betray or hurt you. Somebody wants to make it right. What's the ace of swords? Ace of wands. Yeah, ooh, we have the queen of swords. Yeah, so I'm getting whatever you said was very hurtful towards this person. All right, I'm getting I'm getting like you might be dead to this person because this person's going this person has their back turned towards you. I'm getting it's an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, definitely. I'm getting whatever you said was very hurtful. Whatever you did was very hurtful. You stabbed them in the back. You betrayed somebody's trust, or they did this to you. You choose what side you're on. All right, but I'm getting somebody is not going to be as welcoming as you as you think. I'm getting you don't realize how much you have hurt this person and you're trying to start over new with them. But the queen of swords is here. I'm getting she's not going to she's not going to have nice things to say to you. 
I'm getting she might be a little bitchy. She might even like ignore you or just completely cut you down with words. Like really hurt your feelings here. Yeah. But I'm getting it as justice. So I'm getting it. You're dealing with a Libra here. So this is probably justified. Somebody deserves this treatment because of they stabbed somebody in the back. Obviously. What's the six of pentacles? Yeah, we have the eight of swords. You don't know what to do. You're stuck. You're like, should I, should I talk to them? Should I not talk to them? So I'm getting this is what you're thinking inside your head. You want to make up with somebody. You miss them. You broke their heart. You know you broke their heart. You know you miss them. You want to be with them. You want to make up. But you know that this person's pissed off at you. And they probably have somebody new in their life anyways. So they're probably not going to welcome you with open arms anyway. Like I'm getting, if you hurt this air sign, yes, they're going to be cold. Yes, they're going to be nasty. Yes, they're going to have a, a few choice words for you. Especially if you did them like this. Um, they're going to be very cutting and I'm getting this, this has you kind of stuck. You don't know what to do. You want to make the effort. You want to try. You want to be honest. You want to say sorry. You want to, you want to make it right. But I, I'm getting, you get, you get stuck. You kind of like, you kind of like stuck in this whirlwind of thought here, thinking about this situation. What to do? What should I do? Yeah. You can't stop thinking about it. It's a fixed idea. It's a fixed, fixed thought. I'm getting, you are kind of codependent on this person. You still love them. Okay. But I'm getting, this is, this is over, unfortunately. But I'm getting you don't want to cheat anymore. You don't want to lie anymore. You're still attached to this person. But I'm getting you're not I'm, I'm, I'm not getting you're making a move here. You're just thinking about it. All right. What's the what's the two of cups energy? I'm, I'm, I'm getting you are afraid. Of, you're afraid of how this person is going to react. You're afraid of what they're going to say. You're afraid of their rejection. You're just, you're just afraid of this. You're afraid of this person. OK, what's the two of cups? Somebody could be very violent or volatile, but I'm getting if you stab them in the back and you know, yeah. Okay, we have the full card. Yeah, I'm getting you wanna you wanna take a leap of faith. You really wanna do it, but I'm I'm getting you, you just you just don't do it. You just you don't let's what's the full card? I don't wanna say you don't have the courage, but that's what it looks like to me. You, you just you don't you're afraid that somebody's gonna reject you or ignore you or cut you down or just be really mean and nasty towards you. What's the Queen of Swords doing, please? Okay, we have the two of swords. She's very indecisive as well. Okay, so she she might not know what to do either. This person does not know what to do either. They don't know what to do or how to think about you or how to think about this or really what's going on. What's the two of swords? Yeah, we have the we have the cherry and we have the nine of cups. So somebody is trying to decide if they want to if they want to move on with you or if they want to be single by themselves if they want to continue dating other people. Okay, so I'm getting to you're not sure if this person is dating or if they're single or not. You're not really sure if they moved on from you or you're just not sure. That's why you're afraid to take that leap of faith because you don't know if they're with somebody, if, they, if they're if they single, if they've moved on, if they still want you. You're not really sure what to think or how to feel. What's, that's why you're stuck inside your head with the eight of swords. Okay, I'm getting you're just, you're, you just need to take a leap of faith and just talk to them, ask them, just ask them what's going on. I'm getting, I'm getting you're kind of stuck in assumptions. You're kind of just, you're stuck in your thoughts. What if, what if, what if, what if, instead of just talking to this person. I'm getting, you're, I'm getting, you're not going to do it. You're going to just, you're just, you're just, just going to think about it here. What's the eight of swords? It's like, you want to know if they're seeing somebody else. You want to know if they're moved on. You want to know if this person they're serious about, but I'm getting, it's all in your head. It's just the thought. You're just thinking this. Okay. What's the eight of swords? You're not actually going to say anything to this person. Yeah. Okay. So we have the uh, king of wands. Okay, so there could be somebody else here involved that they're with. I'm getting you see them. You saw them with somebody else, or you you are you think they're with somebody else. But I'm not even getting. I'm get, not getting that you're even sure about that. You could be with somebody else. I'm getting you do. You could be wanting to talk to this person, but you're stuck with a fire sign. You 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 know you're you're with somebody. You're stuck to a fire sign here. You can't leave, or you can't get out, or you can't communicate with with this other person because you're stuck to this person over here. All right. Or at least you feel stuck. You feel like you feel stuck to this person, that this Leo energy or this fire energy. Yeah, the five of cups. You feel very disappointed. So I'm getting there's someone that you're separated from that you miss. And I'm getting you think about them a great deal. You think about, you know, just taking a leap of faith and talking to them. You want to make up. You love them. You want to, you know, you want to, you don't want to be their enemy anymore. You're tired of not communicating with this person. But I'm getting there is a fire sign that you are around that you are actually stuck to or stuck with or obligated. You have obligations with this person. Okay, I'm getting somebody needs your support. You have to pay child support or pay bills. So you can't just leave. You have obligations. Okay, what's the five of the five of cups? And you're really not sure if this person is single or not. So I'm getting, you don't even want to ask the question or anything. You're just kind of, it's like something that you just think about. 
Because I'm getting you can't really do anything anyway because you're kind of stuck over here in this situation. Okay, what's this combination, please? Yeah, the three of pentacles. You're stuck. You're stuck. I'm getting you're dating somebody that you work with or you're in a dead end job. Or I'm get, I'm also getting two. This person that you are stuck to, they can they control your job or they control how much money you make. Maybe this person you are there, they're, they're your boss, or you work with them or work for them. They have more clout than you. They have the ability to, to, to make your money flow stop. Okay, what's the three of pentacles? I'm getting you work with this person as a business partner, and you're you're kind, you're kind of like stuck, or you're you're stuck or obligated here because they control the money they can they can they they have the control or something it's like i don't know why you, you feel stuck because somebody's controlling you all right you need somebody you need this person to help you or you need this person to support you in some way so you can't really speak up or say anything or do anything or take any action or really assert yourself at all okay i'm, I'm getting you're kind of like living here with your tail between your legs because this fire sign is like ruling you okay one more card please or you're stuck to them. You're like, you're like stuck with this person. You can't leave or you feel like you can't leave. Okay, what's this combination? Yeah, we have the two of pentacles. You're juggling. You're trying to figure out what to do. You're like, you're like deadlocked here. You don't know. You can't take a leap of faith. If, if, although, I mean, so you think you can't. <laughs> I'm getting you want to, but like you're stuck paying with this, paying for this person or helping them or child support or i'm getting you're not making enough money to leave or you're not you're, it's there's something that it's like the six of pentacles it's like you have very little money or you're, you're like giving it to this person or your your job doesn't pay enough or it's something about this fire sign that they have control over you or something or control over your money yeah so i'm getting you're sitting here juggling trying to figure out what to do which way to go or how to how to figure your life out here what's the two of pentacles please but I'm getting this person is juggling you, though. They're juggling you. So they're, I'm getting they have a third party at their job or at their work, and you're kind of stuck in this third party situation. You can't leave, but this person is not faithful to you. Okay, what's the Two of Pentacles? This is a real dilemma here. What's the Two of Pentacles, please? Yeah, we have the Four of Swords. You're not going to put any work in. You're not going to do anything. And we have the uh, Knight of Cups. You're trying to figure out if you don't, if you want to continue putting in the work or continue being nice, being kind, being cordial, or if you want to do nothing. But I'm getting you're in the situation. So you have to be cordial. You have to be nice. You have to be kind. You have to be sensitive to this person. But you're also very depressed and sad and you feel stuck and smothered. But you have no choice because you need this person for support or you need this person to for shelter or whatever you need them for. What's the Three of Pentacles? But I'm getting it's very one-sided. They, they, they do not give to you or they, they do not meet your needs. I'm getting to they have a third party at their place of work. Okay, what's the Three of Pentacles? So, I mean, you're stuck missing somebody that you can't get to because you're stuck with some, you're stuck with this person. They have a third party. It, I'm, I don't know. This is a really, this is a real bind. Okay, what's the Three of Pentacles, please? Yeah, the okay, the Page of Pentacles. So, you should, you could have kids with this person. You have children with them, maybe. All right. We have the devil. Yeah, this, you're, it's a codependent relationship. Somebody's very, very codependent on you or vice versa. You can't leave this person. Somebody could be sick or ill or somebody can't fend for themselves. Somebody is just like you're stuck to them. You're also stuck missing someone. I don't really know what to tell you here. It's like you're, you're deciding to stay in the situation because the eight of swords is like it's it's your imagination. You you decide to stay stuck. You, get, you make an excuse to stay stuck. I can't leave. They can't go on without me. They can't take care of themselves or they have kids or blah, blah, blah. You make excuses to stay with this person. You're, you're make, you make excuses to be stuck. So therefore, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be stuck. You're going to continue juggling here. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. I hope this helps you. Okay, don't forget to like the video. Leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.